Hello everyone. Today in this video we will look at some of the basics of parallel computing and how we can implement them using MATLAB. Before moving forward make sure that you have used other ways to speed up your code in MATLAB. To do that check the how to speed up MATLAB code video linked in the resources section. To use the features of parallel computing Check if you have the parallel computing toolbox by using the command VER on a local MATLAB command window. Then you can see all the toolboxes available with the parallel computing toolbox. So why do we use parallel computing? To solve complex big data problems by distributing data, to save time by distributing tasks to workers and executing them simultaneously and to take advantage of additional compute resources by scaling up to the clusters and cloud. To address these, we have different methods in MATLAB. You can speed up your iterative code using parallel computing and par for or par eval. You can scale up your computation using parallel computing with functions that support distributed arrays and with big data processing features such as tall, data store, and map reduce. You can use GPU array to speed up your calculation on an NVIDIA GPU in your computer. You can use batch to offload your calculations on your desktop or to computer clusters or cloud computing facilities. And lastly, you can also scale up to clusters and clouds. So if your computing task is too big or too slow for a local computer, you can offload your calculation to a cluster on site or in the cloud using MATLAB parallel server. Based on your problems and compute, we can decide which method to use. But in today's video, we will be digging deeper into speeding up the code using PAR4. And to illustrate it, I will be using an example of integer factorization. The idea behind this example is a problem which is computationally intensive and where the complexity of the factorization increases with the magnitude of the number. Here, we create a vector of prime numbers in 64-bit precision and multiply pairs of prime numbers randomly to obtain large composite numbers. We also create an array to store the results of each factorization. We then use a for loop to factor each composite number and measure the time that the computation takes. Here we observe that our for loop takes around 43 seconds. The iterations in the previous for loop are independent. And so now to enable parallel computing, we use a pair for loop to distribute iterations to multiple workers. So what do we mean by worker? Parallel worker is a MATLAB computational engine that runs in the background on your machine or the cluster. A collection of workers is preferred to as a pool of workers. Now let's run our pair for loop. When we use pair for and we have parallel computing toolbox, MATLAB automatically starts a parallel pool of workers. The parallel pool takes some time to start. The default cluster profile is local. With this profile enabled, MATLAB creates as many workers as physical cores on your machine for the parallel pool. Here, the number of workers are four. You can control the parallel behavior using the parallel preferences. Go to Home tab, select Parallel and Parallel Preferences. Now run the code and measure the overall computation time. As you can see here, a pair for a loop takes 20 seconds. Because the workload is distributed across several workers, the computation time is lower than our previous for loop. Now to measure the speed up with the number of workers, we run the same code several times, limiting the maximum number of workers. For this, we first define the number of workers for each run up to the number of workers in the pool and create an array to store the result of each test. Next, we use a loop to iterate through the maximum number of workers and run the previous code. To limit the number of workers, we use the second input argument of pair 4. Calculate the speed up by computing the ratio between the computation time of a single worker and the computation time of each maximum number of workers. To visualize how the computations scale up with the number of workers, we plot the speed up against the number of workers. Observe how the speed up increases with the number of workers with one, with two, and then with four. There are many factors that can contribute to the speed up we achieved. Some common factors that contribute are difference in the execution time for the iterations, access to processor memory cache, and overhead of distributing work. Also note 
that for any problem, there is always a point at which using additional workers stops providing additional benefit. So it's always good to try scaling with a few workers before trying to scale with a large number of workers. To understand more about when to use and when not to use Pad4 and some troubleshooting techniques, check out these links in the resources section. Thank you.